Alright guys, today I'm doing a review on Murasaki Baby, and this is for the PlayStation Vita. It's free on the PSN, with PS Plus subscribers. Um, it's one of those other type of indie games. Um, I really want some AAA games for my Vita, okay? So, but the, this game is actually kind of cool. Um, so, it's, think of it like a Yoshi's Island, um, sort of. Um, basically, it's all... It's all touch. Uh, you can't do anything with your controls. It's kind of annoying in that sense, actually. Um, but you're just dragging this baby, and you gotta move this light bulb, and you just keep going. Um, that's pretty much the game. You know, puzzles solving. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Like graphics, different type of aesthetics to it. Um, uh, if you like these type of games, uh, it's great. But there's no there's a little bit of a storyline, but it's really not really a huge storyline. You know, it's not epic, right? So, um, if I rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, like I said, you can't really compare these to, like, AAA games. So, I don't know why people give these games, like, 10, 9 out of 10. It, these are games that should be rated on a different scale, okay? Uh, because they're, they take a lot less time. They're less, you know, uh, graphic intensive. So, uh, anyways, I think uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this about a 6 out of 10. It's it's above average, guys. But that's my opinion. If you have your opinion, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, guys, post them below.